What's going on guys? Welcome to another NBA 2K15 My Career Game. We are at Game 9, which is our last game of our 10 day contract with the Utah Jazz. We are currently winning by 7 against Dallas on the road, so hopefully we can pull off the win away, because we are currently at, okay, we are currently at a three-game win streak, I believe, which is awesome. I asked him about the matchup problems created by a player like Andrea Bargnani, a seven-foot sharpshooter. He said he can give us Oh, Jill, go! Nice! And he can also nice drive. drive. Alright. What's up, Harris? Aw, shit. Give an assist there, not for the pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed him up and made Look that. Hunter. Give me them points. Give me that layup. For themselves in this opening quarter. Well, if they can match that effort at the defensive end, look out. I'm gonna pass it. That was with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. Come on. Where are you going? Where are you going? Shit. Here is outside. Lock at six. Kicks it to right. And the rejection by favorites. Pabum. Cashes in for a double digit lead. Lights out, has got five now. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Jazz. Well, Kevin, in the first half of play, they're really closing out aggressively, blocking shots, a, a key indicator of their activity defensively. Something else they've done right so far from the get go tonight is, is run. I mean, so much has come off the fast break. Hunter shots good. He's got seven. They're really struggling. I like this so far. Too many easy buckets. And they've been on fire offensively as a result, Clark. All right, come on. Ellis kicks to Harris. Five on this clock. Here's Aminu. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Clippers. And he played great at the defensive end of the floor, too, Kevin. He had a couple of important block shots in that game. So, good all-around effort. Come on! And the Jazz, another three. Mm, look at that lead up and down the court. They have been in complete control all night. And it's kept this building as quiet as the library. These fans have had nothing to Oh, man, why not jump? This passes to right. Dallas moving the ball around. Harris dishes to Aminu. Five on the clock. Parsons against Bargnani. A floater. Parsons' shot is off. Nice, dude. Nice. Oh, three points right there in the end of the quarter. Only about one in 50 of those go down, but that's why you chuck them up there. You want to give you nice a job. And welcome back. It's been oh, it's good. so far through the first quarter as our second quarter gets underway. And for the Jazz, this has been the game they've wanted to have. I think the elbow shot. Really attacking the rim, getting a lot of points in the paint. And guys, they've been the aggressor early. I mean, attacking the hoop and getting into the paint. That can make oh, really shit. Felton yeah. The one and the two. Chandler out there with Jay Crump. And it's Jefferson in at the three slot. So that's who Dallas starts the second with. Jazz leading by 20. What? And it's lights out with the foul. Thank you, coach. I like that shooting. I'm making sure I shoot a lot better. I'm shooting smarter. Excellent toughness to get in there. One thirty-seven left to play in the first half. See? See, coach? I took what you said from last night's game. Stop shooting the three so much. And it's working. What? Get out of here. 
I got two fouls. Uh. Really? Why? Okay. I'm not going to say this time. Consistent shooter at the line for them this season, shooting about 78%. Guys, he is close to where he was last year in that category, but um, his numbers are still down just a skosh. Yeah! That's what I like. I don't want none of this. 16 points. Now, guys, for a point guard, he can punch it. Yes, sir. I mean, that would have been unheard of. Uh, about a decade and a half ago, Kevin, seeing a guy bounce like that at his side. Good yeah. point. Times have changed, though. Guys, we got guards all over the league who can play way above Damn the it. And he gets the bucket. And Rick Carlisle, co-captain, the University of Virginia team that made the Final Four, won an NBA title as a player with the Celtics. In 1986, and Clark, another title, coaching the Mavs in 2011. That was really an enjoyable time. No! Mavericks did a fantastic job. He's had one of the better win percentages in coaching history. Tremendous tactician. Got to see him work. Ah, uh, all right. He was assistant coach with Larry Bird and then the head coach for the Pacers for a while. Certainly one of the uh, highly esteemed coaches in the league. Thank you. Between shot and game clock. Good. Hunter. And that's now 18 points for lights out. Uh, you gotta like his shot selection today. He said it. Nah, I got 12 points the in the pen. Holy crap. Outside, Felton. At the elbow, it's Parsons. Really? Chandler? Really? Really, Taylor Carson, you gotta do that. It don't matter, we're up 14. Going into the half. The clock runs out. So I don't have a plan. Okay, guys. Solid play so far. I like what I'm seeing. But just a few things to talk about before the second half. Our shot selection couldn't have been better. That's the first thing I'll say. Don't worry. I, I got this. I, I know. We have a 11 point lead, I believe. No, 9 point lead. My God. Oh, no. That's not a 9 point lead. What the hell am I smoking? Let's see. 19. Well, that's a 21 point lead. What am I? Yeah, that's a 21 point lead. Alright, 21 point lead. I don't know why I said not. I'm dumb. Lights out, checked in for the Jazz. Chandler with the screen on Barnyani. Nice. Okay, why would you do that? And let's catch up with Thank you. Reporter, Doris Doris, over to you. Hi, Kevin. Well, it's been a great pairing in Dallas between Monte Ellis and Dirk Nowitzki. As Dirk said, he's been amazing for us. He's so athletic, so fast. I knew he could score with the best of them, but the thing that surprised me is his playmaking off the pick and roll game. He makes my game a lot easier. Kevin, they make a great tandem. Yeah, Come on, God damn, dude. Thank you. And it's good. Crowder's got four points this quarter. Well, and the bounce pass was the key to the play. Looking at Dallas, they took that win in their last game against the Clippers. And after that game, you look at the box score. Wow, look at the work they did at the free throw line, Clark. And just there as solid was the work they did to get to the line. A nice pull up jumper. Driving the lane. Putting pressure on defenders and drawing fouls. He is setting this place on fire, fellas. His shooting has been off the charts. Belton goes in. No good. And Utah the other way now. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. That was a game in hostile territory, too, guys. And it uh, seemed like they had confidence. Right hey, now. hey. Layup shot is good. You know, All right, we're doing really well this game. We're showing that we want to play. In the NBA and probably with the Utah Jazz. Ah! I got to get better on the defense. 
Man, a gaping hole in the defense that time, and he didn't waste any time getting through it. Thank you, Fernand's uh, elbow shot. Over the rim and in. He is remarkably 26.92% field goal. Good God. Get out of here. Belton goes in. Oh, that's blocked. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Come on. I'll take it. From deep. Three more points from Hunter. White's out's got 11 points here in just the second half. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, it makes it tough for the defense to chase that ball around when it moves that crisply all over the court. Yeah, it sure does, Clark. And look at the assist totals. They're piling up. Uh, it's been a, a nice game execution-wise for this club. And look like pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Yeah, good call there. You could tell he was moving into the defender when he tried to set the screen. Yeah, lowered that shoulder, dipped right into him, too. I mean, he was... Gets the three pointer to fall. Lights 32 points. Had it under the four. Here's Damn, dude. I am quite literally playing out of my mind this last game. And a moment now to take a look at our State Farm assist of the game with 61 to 50. Nine to the Jesus. Get a stop. Why not? Come on. Right comes in for Al Farouk Aminu. Ellis is checked in for Ricky Lee. Ah. Devin Harris is subbed in for. Thirty point lead. That's nothing. I'm so worried that we're gonna lose. Uh, all right, come on. Let's go. Thirty-two points. I'm ready to rock and roll. Brandon Wright is out there with Chandler, and it's Harris in at the point. Ah, uh, yeah, no, don't do that. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact. No, I missed my first free throw. Oh, thank God I missed one. I think we can all agree that the NBA has become a bit of a nicer, friendlier league. Damn, I missed my first one. Less animosity with players and less. That's not bad. Nine games and only missed one. I think at times it's a factor oh, in shit. games. Ah! Stop with the ball movement, please. Six on the shot clock. Thank you. That one a little long. The Jazz have gone from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Exum, what are you doing? Exum. Now the pass to Hunter. There you go. There you go. And there's the feed to exit from outside the arc. Offensive rebound. Evans kicks to Hood. Passes it to Hunter. And a little over three and a half. Oh, dude, that's bullshit. I should get that. Again, can't hit it. Dallas has gotten just one of four three pointers. Whatever. For them here in the fourth. To uh, that should have gone in. I was open. Ha <laughs> ha, you missed. Ha <laughs> ha, you missed twice. No! Thank you. Here's Hunter. Right through the D for the layup. Lights out's got 35 in the game. His work at the offensive end has been phenomenal. Maybe reason number one, they're ahead. Here's Meckle, guarded by Hunter. What? 11 feet away. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. We talk so much about how valuable Whatever. inspiring contracts and draft picks are in terms of building a team. But one thing that gets overlooked is just how important having a player on a good contract can be. It opens up so many possibilities for a team. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Problem. Brandon Wright. That's Felton in for Monte Ellis. And Utah also making a switch early. Can I hit 40? Maverick shooting well. They're at 45 percent. Ah. Talk of value contract. Ah. A franchise player and only paying in half of what is expected. 
Clark, that's an extra all-star player you can afford on your roster. And I think that's a big payoff with it. So much of how a team is constructed no, uh -oh. in the NBA involves how close they are to the salary cap. And so you'd like to try to get as many really good players as you can at market value or in some cases maybe below market value. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, dominating performance for the Jazz. And this really? was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, Stephen Clark. Uh, an all-around dominant performance. Clark, and you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. I certainly did, and they just cracked it open and made it an Damn. Easy, no contest. Yeah. I need 20 and points. Please. They finally got something good to happen against this opponent. The last two times out, they weren't nearly as productive. Yeah, they'll now be one and two against them this season. They'll face them once more, so they could end up with a split in those four games. You look at the stats, and you'll see just how dominant a game this was for Lights Out. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do anything, really. Well, I mean, we had an amazing win. I had an amazing game. But I want the 40-point game. No luck that time either. Utah's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. We've got 33 seconds. Yes, the I'm not forty point. And he gets it to go from the high post. Yes. yes. Lights out's got 40 points. Well, they've done a great job keeping the fans out of the game today, and the closer they get to the There's game, no one left in the arena. The they all left. The Savor this win as well they should. Every road win carries a little extra reward. Ha <laughs> ha! Three points. And he gets it to go. Lights out's got 42 in the game. Man, I'm happy. 42 points. 85 percent shooting. That blood in the water. The killer instinct. Ha ha! Oh man, eight to the 21. Field goal shooting, 42 points, two rebounds, one assist, two blocks, player in the game. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, come on, man. I, I deserve a contract for the rest of the season. That was the game I needed to have. Last game of the 10 day contract, I blow it up. Let's go. Come on, GM. I did a lot better. I ripped that horn up. <laughs> you know, life's a funny thing. Whatever you say, boss. <laughs> a couple of months ago, I never even heard of you. A few weeks ago, I was certain you were a one-and-done guy. You know, have your cup of coffee in the bigs and then disappear never to be heard from again. And now? Now, well, now I'm going to tell you that I was wrong not to draft you, and I was silly to offer you only a 10-day contract, and you know, I was mistaken to think you were only here to have a cup of coffee. So, you saying what I think you're saying? Yeah. Yes! We're offering you a guaranteed contract for the rest of the season. Heck yeah, man, that's what I'm talking about right there. Thanks, you're not going to regret this. I'm telling you, I'm going to make this organization so proud. Good, good. Listen, yep. you got this opportunity because uh, you've been working your tail off out there. You know, you keep doing what you're doing, and, uh, you know, there's no limit to, to what you can achieve. Uh, you got it? Yes, sir, I do. Get out of here. Thanks again. Get out of here. If you're not going to shake my head, I'm going to touch you. My God, turn the fold. Man, we did it. We got our contract. Oh, hi. Welcome to the film room, everybody. Coach wanted me to give you all a little breakdown on some of the key uh -huh. points of emphasis strategies we'll be using moving forward. As you know, the entire staff feels it's important to review the basics from time to time, giving everyone a better understanding of what coach is expecting when you're out on the floor. It's going to help the team win more games. Simple as that. Now let's get to it, gentlemen. Getting to the basket and playing physical on defense. So here we go. Now there are times when coach is going to want us to really focus on getting to the basket. We have some talented players on this team, 
who are capable of getting to the rim just about any time because of their ball handling, speed, and ability to finish inside. When we run into a team that has weak perimeter defenders or is not very good at defending the rim, coach is going to want us to go strong to the hoop whenever possible. Now let's take a look at some game film All right. showing how we can try and get to the rim with that? some easy baskets. Why are we want what the hell? Uh, that's a pretty straightforward play. I love how it's LeBron James with the Cavaliers facing the San Antonio Spurs. Oh my god. I, I don't see when they have choose us, chose us. Okay, up next, playing physical. We got some very physical players who like to use their bodies against weaker, smaller teams. We should be looking to take advantage of those size and strength mismatches by wearing out our opponents over the course of the game. Now let's look at some films so you guys can see what playing physical on the defensive end. Why can't it have been like our team playing against other teams? And like analyzing how we play. This is kind of basic, in my opinion. A small, fast dude against a bigger dude? I mean, yeah. Okay, that's going to do it for today. There's no excuse not to know what's expected of you when coach calls for either of these points of emphasis in a game. See you at practice. Sounds good. Got it, coach. Is that it? Uh. Okay. Man, we are moving on up. We are attending film sessions. We are moving up with the team. We have a contract for the rest of the season, and then we're, well, now we're in the locker room later on in the week. What's up, Trey? Didn't know What's you were still them? here. When? I hear you. You know, in all the celebration, we didn't get a chance to really talk. Just wanted to say, I know there's been... That's cool, man. Dang, man, that's cold-blooded. Man, we sweat with them. We went to war with them. They just gonna throw them out like yesterday's news? That's it? I might as well say bye while I got a chance. Hey, hold up, y'all. Hey, man, I'm sorry to hear about Damn, keep that sucks. Down, right? Ball out. Who is we did? We got earlier Bargnani before sure you've all heard we're going to have some new faces around here. We all know that change is part of the business. Your job is to make the new guys comfortable so that the transition on and off the court is... I thought Ferris was with us. What? I'm confused. Yo, glad you're here. We a tight group, so watch and learn. And when you feel comfortable, do your thing. Hey. As long as I'm in the field with me doing my thing. I'm just playing, man. Damn, man. But with this team, and we've had two trade transactions. Before sure we had favorites already. Alright. I thought that was favorites. I know the other guy's Arthur. Guess what? You got your first local endorsement deal. It's with Donnie's Diner. I know you love the place anyway, but you're welcome. The first of many, my friend. Oh, 
I'm sure you know I'm constantly working on getting new endorsements. Just remember that in order to officially cash in, you have to view them first, either in social media or on the endorsements menu. Uh, fucking take it. I mean, I would have liked to have seen what it was, but alright. It's all good. My endorsements. I guess I can't. Uh, okay. How much do we got? Four! Hello! Ah, man. Alright. I wanna upgrade this to two. Oh! Hey! I love when that happens! Awesome! Thank you, 2K, you're so cool! Alright, well next time we come back, we'll start a regular season, I mean for us it's the mid-season, but we're gonna start our official journey as an NBA player. So I'll see you all later.